Here we're dealing with a couple of problems that have to do with measurements in ounces and pounds. In the first one, they're asking how many ounces are in a certain number of pounds, and in the second one we're doing some subtraction, which can get a little bit tricky. The key fact you need to know is how many ounces are there in a pound. And if you don't know, it's 16. So 16 ounces equals one pound. Actually, I guess we say LB for pound. And what I like to do is write this as a ratio, a special kind of ratio that people either call a unit multiplier or I like to call a conversion factor. And you can write this ratio in uh, either of two ways. You could have pounds on top. One pound is 16 ounces. Or you could have 16 ounces on top and one pound on the bottom. And in various situations, you might need to use one or the other. When you convert from one unit to another, what you do is you multiply by a conversion factor, by a unit multiplier. So what we're starting with is four pounds. I'll put the units in there. And I like to write this as a fraction, so I just put a one on the bottom. That's the same thing as four pounds, but I've put it in the form of a fraction because I'm going to multiply it by another fraction. Now, which one of these do I pick to multiply to convert this into ounces? The trick is that you want, if you have pounds on the top to begin with, you want pounds on the bottom in your unit multiplier. So I'm going to choose this one. So I'm going to multiply this by 16 ounces on the top and one pound on the bottom. The reason I want pounds on the bottom is because I want to end up with ounces. That's what the question says, how many ounces? When you have pounds on the top and pounds on the bottom, you cancel those. So those units cancel out, and what you're left with after you do the math is just ounces. Now, I simply multiply these fractions, 4 times 16 on the top, 1 times 1 on the bottom. So let's see, 4 times 16, what is that, 64? And 1 on the bottom, I could write 64 over 1, or I could just leave it as 64. It's 64 ounces. That's how many ounces are in 4 pounds. This next one asks us to subtract 216 pounds, 3 ounces from 173 pounds, uh, or minus 173 pounds, 14 ounces. So I'm going to write it out like a, a traditional subtraction problem here. 16 pounds, 3 ounces on the top, minus 173 pounds, 14 ounces here. Now, when I start this, I start here with the ounces, and what I notice is I have 3 ounces minus 14 ounces. And just like in regular subtraction, if the number is smaller here, I have to borrow from the next unit over. Well, the next unit over is in pounds, and I'm going to take away 1 pound from that 216. That makes this 215, and I get 1 pound over here, but I need to convert it to ounces before I add it in. So I don't put a 1 here. What I put in is a, a 16 plus 3. So really, this is 19 ounces now, minus 14 ounces. Well, 19 ounces minus 14 ounces is 5 ounces, so that worked out. Now I can continue on with my subtraction. 5 minus 3 is 2. 1 minus 7, oh, I have to borrow again, so that becomes a 1. I put a, a 10, really, or you know, a 1 in front of the 1. That becomes 11 minus 7, that's 4. And then 1 minus 1 is 0, so it's 42 pounds oops, and 5 ounces.